Hi guys, this is Mehul Mehta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Some of you have reached out to me asking, uh, you know, do 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 cons really get a package of two hundred thousand dollars in the United States? Um, see, let me tell you the real world. Uh, you know, I mean the reality of of the world of con finance because see, I know like a lot of students uh, from India, Pakistan, China, you know, all this other. uh countries like different countries they take like a, a education loan of let's say $80,000 to let's say $100,000 and you might be thinking oh you know I'll I'll repay my whole education loan uh just by getting a $200,000 of job in a year or so you know I can pay my pay my whole education loan in a year but 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 that's not the reality um see the thing is it depends a lot okay your salary your package okay let me tell you what uh, you know what actually in a package you get so in the package package you know in your salary package there are four things first is your sign on bonus second is your relocation relocation bonus third is your base pay fourth is your performance pay okay so i have seen like uh, back when i graduated the firms were giving all the four right now when i see they have just made sign on and relocation as optional so they will be either giving a sign on bonus or they will be either giving a relocation bonus and then they, some some of the firms they even don't pay a, a performance bonus so, so it depends a lot on which firm are you applying what kind of role are, are you applying okay so uh, but uh, to be honest let's say if you are a fresher if you have like no working experience and uh, if you are coming into this field of con finance what uh, what a uh, package you you can expect okay so uh, okay so i talk to a lot of my juniors and i'm telling all these things after interacting with lot of my juniors and lot of my batchmates because you know we do talk about you know what's going on in the industry what salary package is going on in the industry and how to re how to negotiate with the organizations right so like i'm very frank with my juniors and i i i talk with, like very with honestly like you know what's going on how much package you should demand and stuff like that so what i've realized is i have seen one of my juniors getting a $80000 package as a base pay okay and i have also seen someone who has uh, gotten a $110000 as their base pay and of course like uh, if you add like the sign on and everything you know performance bonus this 80000 might go to $100000 and similarly this 110000 might go to $130000 but that is for a fresher now it depends on see uh, again like uh, you might you might say hey mehul you are totally wrong you know i have seen a fresher going into let's say uh, citadel or you know all this big con developer firms and stuff like that and he is getting a package of $220000 i i am not denying that i also know people coming with no work no work experience but they had very smooth grip on their subjects so one of my friend uh, who works as a con developer he definitely got a package of uh, almost close to $200000 but he is amazing he is damn amazing he is good with optimization he can crack most of the companies so he is that good with it okay so that's why I'm, and see uh, if you take if you always take like the top 1% of course they'll, they they might get even $300,000 who knows right but i'm talking about the average people people like uh, i mean the average people what is the average uh, like the median salary that most of the people get right see uh, i mean if you even i feel like mean is not a good uh, measure of salary because um, let's say someone uh, like if your whole batch size you know if everyone is getting somewhere around 120000 130000 someone got a 250000 dollars the average will average will just shook up but your median will your, your mean will just shook up but your median will not shook up so first of all median is a good measure of understanding what salary people get okay that's the first thing second thing is uh, i don't i don't see most of the cons uh, in their initial years getting some somewhere around 200000 dollars or something like that people with good amount of working experience 3 to 5 years of working experience or even more even more much more than that uh, i have seen them uh, getting to that level but uh, most of the cons they i'm i'm so um, i mean they don't make up to 200000 and it's not like one or two cons are or you know it's not like five or 10 people i'm talking about i talk to a lot of students i have seen like most of the students uh, they do not end up getting 200000 so if you are someone who thinks oh you know um hey you know, this <laughs> mehul is not uh, you know telling the truth or something i'm i'm telling you i speak to a lot of people and i have seen like not everyone is making 200000 dollars 
so but what uh, so just to uh, make you understand see if you are someone who's uh, who's taking an education loan right so always think like you might get a package between $100,000 or $150,000 of course i'm not denying that you cannot get more than that you can definitely get you can get more than $200,000 also but it's just that this field is so competitive also because with your master's degree right when you are applying when you are filing the application for different organizations there are people who are who have like good amount of work ex filing for the same application there are people who have done phd in mathematics phd in statistics phd in physics who are applying for the same uh, same application so that's why people you know with just a master's degree they tend that's one thing you know it's not like everyone is getting two hundred thousand dollars yes definitely after working for some years of uh, some years in the industry and getting a good understanding may you know people if people think yes this uh, this person is a subject matter uh, expert of this specific uh let's uh this specific subject definitely they'll be willing to pay you but in uh if you ask me in general this is how the uh, how the scenario is in united states definitely people can agree or disagree with me but this is what i've seen with most of my batchmates with most of my juniors and it is not just uh, nc state as a university i'm talking about various other universities i'm talking about red girls i'm talking about georgia tech so i know like i know a bunch of people in the industry who are working as a con and that's where I'm saying, you know, even people, I know people from Columbia, Carnegie Mellon, and that's where I'm saying not everyone is uh, making $200,000. Also, let me tell you one more thing. Someone who's getting $200,000 in New York, uh, you must understand, there's almost close to 40% of techs in New York. So even, even though he's earning $200,000, but this 40% of his salary is just gone in the tax. That's what, yeah. So that's why people, you, there are a lot of people who, know, you know, who who works who who don't want to go to New York just because of the tax structure. Uh, you know they they prefer Texas because Texas is a state free tax. They prefer Florida. Florida is again a state free tax. Uh, they prefer Charlotte. Or uh, you know Charlotte has, has a lot of a lot of different banks and you see a lot of good quant opportunities in Charlotte. So that's what that's where you know see even if someone is getting a two hundred thousand dollars package doesn't mean like oh he's saving a lot it depends on where is he stay is staying you know which location is he in which organization is he working for so uh, so that's what uh, i hope this uh, this uh, video might have helped you in in a way of understanding what is uh, the package that people receive but again see uh, these these all packages they change depending on uh, the market conditions I, you know this uh, last year and this year the market conditions are crazy i mean uh, it's it's a terrible job market and people you know people are just uh, for even if even if you see a, a an opening for an organization right there are a bunch of application for, for that opening because linkedin does a linkedin does tell us you know how many applications for a specific uh, for a specific uh, job is there right so you can see okay uh, let's say 500 people has applied for this kind of job so that is you know that is the number competition is so high the only reason is because the job market is still picking up you know i've seen like a lot of jobs being added in the month of march that's what um, i was reading this article and that's what that article said so i i believe like the job market will still pick up but uh, i hope like this video might give a sense of what salary range you might look you should look for and definitely uh having said that uh, you 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 guys should work on your subject matter knowledge if that is the case if you become good with your subject matter knowledge i, I believe like you'll be able to even crack top-notch uh, companies um yeah so uh, i hope this video has helped you uh, one last thing uh which i really want to tell you is uh if you see all this jane street and all this top firms right or this trading firms or heads uh, high frequency trading from definitely and I'm, uh, I'm saying i'm saying that definitely you do get a package of two hundred thousand dollars but just imagine how many people make it through right they they even for just one application they receive like the uh, even for just one opening they receive like thousand applications so like uh just think right i mean how 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 crazy is the how crazy uh the whole this thing is uh, this application system is right so so if you ask me, okay, Mehul, one uh, one guy from you know um, one at Jane Street, he got a two hundred thousand dollar package or three hundred thousand dollar package. That is fine. I'm not denying that people do get it, but I'm talking about the average people. W what is like what is the total sample that people is getting? I'm not just talking about the top one percent. Yes, definitely they might be making up to two hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars because they are working as a trader. 
they are build they are making million dollar profit to the organization definitely they are uh, they might uh, get a bonus or you know the whole compensation as a compensation they might get 200 the 200000 or 300000 dollars for package but again i'm talking about the sam- average sample and that's where i felt like uh, you know not everyone is getting 200000 dollars so i wish you all the very best uh, and if you have any more doubts please do comment on this uh, on the youtube's comment section thank you